All right, welcome to LearnWire's Top AppSumo Tools for November. We're gonna jump right in. So I'm gonna go over the tools that I actually reviewed and give my recommendations. And this month, I actually, or over the last four weeks, only reviewed six tools. I usually get eight to 10 tools in there. And I believe the last time I put one of these together, there was 15 tools that I had reviewed, but I hadn't done one in a couple months. So I would say I average between about eight to 10 AppSumo software reviews per month. But this one's just a little bit on the low end, but still we've got some really good tools to go over. So we reviewed a baseline. This was a design tool, a Canva-like tool, and I ended up giving it a four stars. It was lacking with a couple different things. There wasn't really any AI built into it where what we're used to seeing with a lot of these soft social media automation tools and creation tools where we can use AI to create some really good imagery. And so it really speeds up the process. This one was a lot more kind of hands-on. It, it would select, you could select your brand colors and fonts and so forth. There was a couple different things that I noticed, like it didn't actually utilize the brand fonts that we wanted to all the time. So there was kind of some consistency issues as well. And then essentially I liked the tool and the interface and so forth, but it just was kind of lacking and believe it or not, I probably even could have gave this like a 3.8 or something, but it got a solid four stars worth looking at. Wasn't something that I would probably pick up and continue uh, to use, especially for the fact that I already have like Follower and Marquee and several other tools over the last uh, couple of years that I've purchased on AppSumo that I think are a little bit more powerful. But if you want the kind of hands-on approach to, to creating graphics and you're a graphic designer, then I think baseline would be really good. You can hook up your social media accounts and you can schedule the content. So those were some pretty cool things. And then I believe on there, the, the last tier or the top tier, you get unlimited accounts. And that was probably my favorite part about baseline was that if you go with like tier three or tier five, whatever it was, you get unlimited of like brand accounts, right? So essentially, if you want to make a business out of this and be a, become an agency and go out there and get clients and uh, create graphics for them and run their social, your social media campaigns and so forth for them, and you have a team even of people that you're going to manage that are going to go out there and do this as, as well, this would probably be the perfect tool for that because there's no limits on that final tier, which a lot of these social media automation platforms that you find on AppSumo, they often, even on the highest tier, still have limits on the amount of users that you can use. And I believe Baseline did not have a limit. So that was probably the biggest advantage to going with Baseline. The next up on the list was Paper Guide. This is an AI assistant, a chatbot, a research tool. It was kind of like a 4AI and a notebook LM. So it's kind of comparative to those. I gave it a 4.5 stars. This paper guide is essentially, you're able to upload your own PDFs, your own documents, and create your own kind of chatbot AI assistant. And this is really geared towards school and education and research. There's one of the highlights was that you it kind of has a built in library of journal articles and kind of fact based research and articles, which when you're writing college papers and high school papers, you need those kind of journalistic uh, type of data that paper guides seem to have in there. There was a lot of different things you could do with this tool. It was a pretty big tool. It was very much like uh, I got a lot of questions, this one versus a 4AI, which one's better, all this kind of stuff. And essentially, it's just kind of going to come down to what user interface you like the best and kind of maybe a couple of those essentials as far as are you running a team? Do you need if some of the tools vary when it comes to team members and the amount of data that you can process and so forth? Those are going to be some of the, the important aspects on choosing between a 4AI or paper guide or so there's been a couple of other tools like this that have hit essentially i gave it a really good star there wasn't a whole lot that i could find that was wrong with the tool so it's definitely worth looking at if you need an AI assistant that's not really 100% uh, geared towards writing blog uh, articles or content for websites, but more along the line of you can and you can control kind of the fact that was probably the coolest part about paper guide is once you uploaded the documents that as you see it are fact based and the information that you want to to include in your content 
then it's going to write content based on that. So I thought it was very customizable and it was pretty impressive. So paper guide, I don't think you can go wrong with. And I think that I didn't really even get a chance to even tap into what it probably could do when it comes to blogging and so forth. You're like really controlling the kind of data that you really want to pull and you probably could get some really good blog articles out of it as well. The next one was Genius A. This is a social media automation tool and a shorts video creation tool. So first and foremost, you'll be able to uh, go and put in your brand voice. It's going to understand your website and all the marketing kind of assets and tones and branding that you have on your business. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be able to create social media posts and pick uh, images. It does use AI to create those images and so forth. And you'll be able to schedule them and so forth. And then also on top of that, it also had a shorts video creation tool as well, which I thought was a little limited on the amount of videos that you'll be able to produce when comparing if you just got this genius AI to create videos. I think there's other tools that have hit like a zebra cat and some other ones that have hit AppSumo that are more generous on the amount of videos you would be able to produce. And then also they were a lot faster at it. So all in all genius AI, in my personal opinion, I gave it a 4.4 stars, but it was lacking on the UI. There was just way too much going on. And I think I was probably pretty generous, even though this is just a loaded tool. And once you go and watch my review, you'll probably either see like, oh, wow, I can do so much with this tool, or you might be a little bit overwhelmed. And it just seemed a little sluggish and a little bit cumbersome on trying to get to the next step. They really didn't have a good wizard or a, just a nice journey to take you along on exactly how to use their tool. And that's why I didn't give it a, a perfect a score. And honestly, I probably could have rated this lower. It's not a tool that I would probably use because I just didn't like the speed and the, there was a little bit of confusion on what to do next and how to get the best results out of the tool. And so it's worth looking into for sure. I gave it a 4.4 stars. You can go check that one out as well. So we're on to Brizzy Cloud and this was an AI website builder. I gave it 4.5 stars. And this one is a very seasoned application that I believe was created like four or five years ago. It's been on AppSumo at least two or three times. It's come back throughout the years. And it's nice to see a tool that has been around. And in this kind of atmosphere and market of LTD tools, when a tool can survive four or five years and still be going at it, still be getting customers and survive that long, that says a lot, right? And so that part right there automatically gives Gave them a lot. I had respect for the tool, uh, just knowing that. And then just checking the tool out, it had, it, you could tell it was, it was far along and it was a mature tool that you could tell has been developed quite a bit. And so I don't think you can go wrong with Brizzy Cloud as far as uh, if you need an AI website builder and you want to be able to create a, create websites quickly. Another cool part is that they completely host your websites um, on their platform. And so if you don't want to uh, mess with WordPress and all the different installation things you have to do in order to get your site up and running on WordPress, Brizzy Cloud basically takes care of all of that. And you can literally just say, hey, here's the website I want. Here's what we sell and Brizzy Cloud within uh, a minute or less is going to have a really nice baseline website for you that you can create a blog and you can just use their platform to do everything on. So I do think that the Brizzy Cloud is a, the type of platform that either two are really going to be good for two types of people. One, if you're a small business owner and you need a website up and running very quickly and you want to do it yourself, Brizzy Cloud would be great for that because there isn't a whole lot to learn to do it. If you're an, a website builder or agency and you want to go out and provide this as a service and charge for this would also uh, save you a lot of time and money and you'd be able to basically your profit margin is going to be really high because it's not going to take you a week to build somebody's website or even a day you're going to be able to build their website in probably one or two hours with breezy cloud so i don't think you can go wrong i gave it a really good score of 4.5 stars the next one is Butternut AI, and this one was an AI website builder as well, and I also gave it a tie, 4.5 stars. Now, some people, I got a little bit of flack for scoring Brizzy Cloud the same or not scoring it higher than Butternut AI, but I mean, it's all relative, right? I haven't seen but Brizzy Cloud before, and I believe I even reviewed Butternut AI 
before I reviewed Brizzy Cloud. And so if Brizzy Cloud had a chance to just completely blow me away, then uh, I would have been able to see that because I had already reviewed Butternut. And Butternut just uh, had a very nice platform right out of the gates. And you could make the argument that if Brizzy Cloud's been around for four years, um, Butternut right out of the gates is almost where Brizzy Cloud already is. And so in my opinion, that's pretty impressive to launch your tool on AppSumo and you don't have four years back you don't have probably as much money or budget that Brizzy Cloud has, and you're basically doing the same things that they're doing. I liked the simplicity. I like that you could push a button and then within seconds have a whole new uh, color scheme and website. I didn't really see that ability on Brizzy Cloud. So there was some plus and minuses on both tools. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I really enjoyed using Butternut AI. I thought it was probably easier to use. It was very simple and easy to use, probably even a little bit more user friendly and easy to just just get going. And so that's why I got a really good score from me. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. I probably should have done a comparison video between the two and really kind of looked for like four or five major points and kind of graded them more intricately on those. And maybe we could dive into which one really is the better tool. But I really think that you could go and sign up for some free trials or uh, maybe purchase both, check them both out and maybe keep the one that uh, you think is going to work. And sometimes with this kind of stuff, especially if you are like a website builder, maybe just picking up both of them and then because they usually have limits. They're usually not like unlimited websites, right? So once you uh, exhaust your 50 websites, or for example, on Breezy Cloud or Butternut, you would just move to the next tool, right? And so they both were, it was so close. I really liked both of those tools. And then finally, video to page. This was a content repurposer. We've seen a lot of these hit the last six months on AppSumo. I gave this a three stars. I just think it was missing. The UI was was not good and it was confusing to use. And I just didn't really, it was missing on so many points. And I'll just kind of leave it at that. It really wasn't really good at anything. I just was trying to do too much. And then it really wasn't doing any one of those things that it was trying to do really good. And and that's why it got the three stars. And so that was video to page wasn't a tool that I would really recommend. But you can go check all these out. There will be links to these tools. Now, I'm going to go over my favorite ones now. And some of these tools are still available. Some of them are not. I believe that Butternut AI, I believe that's the only one that's not currently available at the time of recording this video. And so, but you can go check out the rest of the tools. Okay. So now I want to go over my personal favorites out of that list of six. And the first one would be Paper Guide. This one is still available on AppSumo, so I'll leave a link below. You want to go check that one out. It's a really good AI writer, research, AI researcher. It just does a lot of stuff. It's pretty complex and it's very versatile compared to a lot of other AI writers. So I would go and check out Paper Guide. And then you have Brizzy Cloud. This one is still available. I don't know for how much longer, so you might want to go and check that one out. And then finally, Butternut AI, that also was one of my favorites as well, but it's uh, currently not available. But here's the thing, guys, you want to be on the lookout for the Black Friday event coming out very soon this month, Black Friday. And I believe it's a full uh, week of uh, Black Friday sales on AppSumo. And I think you'll get like a 10% discount. If you're for plus members, you'll get an extra 10% off. So that means 20% off of tools. And then the most uh, fun part about it and exciting part that I like is that we get to see uh, tools, some of our favorite tools come back or tools that you're like, dang it, I wish I I, I missed that one. I, I, I knew I was going to miss it. I really wanted to pick that one up, but then I missed it and it hasn't come back. A lot of these tools, we like count on them coming back and they don't. So hopefully your tool that you missed this year is coming back on Black Friday. So keep your eye out for Black Friday. I'm going to try to do as many update videos and so forth and reviews. Leave them in the comments below if there's any tools that you want me to review or as they start hitting when AppSumo, when we when they drop the applications that are going to be on the Black Friday sale, drop comments. Hey, can you re look at this one? Can you review this one? And I'll try to do the best that I can during that Black Friday uh, week and that Black Friday event. But you want to be on the lookout because your tool might be coming back. Like Butternut AI might be coming back for Black Friday. And so you would be able to pick it up during that week. So just keep an eye out for all that stuff, okay? 
And finally, I want to come over here and look at new arrivals. This is something a little bit different on these videos that I'm going to start trying to incorporate is that looking at this going into November, right? I mean, I'm titling this November, but really we're in the beginning of November, right? It's kind of October's deals. It gets kind of confusing on what I reviewed in October, right? That's what this video is about. But I want to look into the future over the next two, three, four weeks. What is on AppSumo right now at the time of recording this video on November 5th and just look at some some of these, some of them that just jump out at me that I think I'm going to review for you guys and that I get a little excited about. So we're going to come and look at this. You might want to be a uh, video to blog is was on my last one, right? So this one's been on the platform for a good probably eight weeks now. And this is video to blog, you can see 65 reviews, it looks like it's got a five star rating. So if you're doing video to blog, you're creating videos first, and you want to make blog posts out of them. This one is a really good one to look at. And I really would say that just from what what they accomplished on just their launch, right? Their MVP, their tool was developed quite a bit and it was one of the best video to blog post applications that I have seen. And so you got to look at this and say, hey, one to two years down the road, how good is that tool actually going to be? So pay attention to video to blog. Jog just hit. This is how you can turn static product pages and assets into engaging video ads. This the, They had an early bird pricing, which was 69 bucks. It just moved up $10. But remember, you'll be able to get hopefully this jog stays here and through a Black Friday event. And you'll be able to if you're a plus member, you'll be able to save 20% anyways and pick this up. So it's if you missed it just now this last week, but you're a plus member when you go to purchase it, you're basically getting the additional 10% off anyways. So it's almost like you're getting it for that early bird pricing anyway. So it's like you didn't miss it if that makes sense, right? So it's a huge advantage going into Black Friday if you are a plus member because then you get that additional 10% off jog I'll definitely be looking at it's it looks very impressive I'll probably be doing a review and probably picking up the tool and doing a full review on that okay and then I want to look over here extensio create interactive business documents presentations and web pages no design skills this one uh, finally got its first review five stars starts at 39 bucks this one looks like something I would probably want to look into at least as well I'm going to scroll down here closely looks like it just came back 230 reviews that's a lot of reviews getting over a hundred or 200 reviews on AppSumo is definitely a lot of reviews closely I picked up I maxed I, did, I don't think I maxed actually I think I purchased four tiers on on closely and it's been going to work for me for the last like four to six weeks building up my LinkedIn account. I've even had uh, some conversations with people on LinkedIn because of this tool. So I think that closely is definitely a good LinkedIn and email cold email marketing tool. I would highly recommend looking at closely. This is one of the tools that people are like bummed out that they missed. And then also in some of these L Facebook LTD groups, people are always looking, suggesting closely as a lead generation tool. And then people are always looking for codes and so forth. So closely is definitely a gem that you want to go look into. It's a definitely a tool that you were kind of lucky that it came back, if you will. So go look at that. Lift OS, I definitely purchased that one. And I've used that one. It even has a really cool whiteboard feature where they're using a third party whiteboard they've partnered with kind of using another third party whiteboard like animation tool or whiteboard tool and that is built into lift os and so even just if you needed a whiteboard tool to like for sometimes when i'm making youtube videos i use a whiteboard and so forth just picking it up for that i've already seen you would be saving a lot of money and so lift os but it's a project management team management trello type alternative definitely recommend lift os lots to look into Triplo definitely um, has some really good reviews uh, boost your productivity with an AI assistant that's in, uh, accessible on desktop and mobile so I have to look into that charge keep if you need a way to process products uh, payments and so forth put this on your website this one might be something really worth looking into Alfano looks like it came back early access ends in one day I'll get this video out to you guys and then I'm sure that this one will be available for Black Friday and so forth but Alfana keep your eye out on that is pretty good a re content repurposer and then I'm just kind of looking through at anything else that kind of um, jumps out at me maybe the accounting software right over here called build we have this one over here this ed working right over here and kind of a project management tool as well and then we have another one that has no reviews that just hit and it's aim fox and it's to a uh, way to automate your linkedin lead uh, lead generation maybe i could do a review on that and then also kind of do a comparison between that and 
and closely. So those are some of the tools that I'm definitely uh, out of this whole list right over here. I'm probably I'm getting pretty excited about looking at Jog and probably Extensio and Triplo. Okay, so I'll keep you guys uh, informed of all of those. Thanks for joining me in this video. Let me know what your favorite tool is right now on AppSumo below in the comments if you want to pick up any of these tools and help support the LearnWire YouTube channel and help me to continue bringing these videos to you. Then you can use my affiliate links below to pick up these products and it is I am greatly appreciative of that. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.